and override we trust. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Mm. All systems nominal. Time to go to bed. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, oh, no matter the cost. Engaged. I wish this neon paint scheme was available on other mechs that they have on the new uh, Evan Jack. It's kind of a cool paint job. I mean, it, it's just a big shoot me here sign, but it is cool looking. If you get on a dark map like Ceres or Solaris, it actually glows and it lights up on other mechs. Like neon. Target spotted. Spotted. But yeah, it is a shoot me sign. Ah, uh, blood ass rancor. That thing's so much fun. Die. New target acquired. One shot. It's a mad cat. Target, target acquired. New target. So much for that guy. We got guys coming in behind us, guys. They're coming from the back side of the hill. We got three mechs.
We need you to pull through. They had a good plan. Nobody kills me better than me. I can't believe that mech is still standing up. That was a great map match. Seven thirty-eight damage, two killing blows, seven or three assists, one KMDD, four components destroyed. That's pretty good for a, a non-ATM build. Yeah, I did top damage on my team and on their team. Great match, everybody. Great job. Let me show you what makes this build special. Honestly, the sound of these missiles firing is so satisfying to me. It's just relaxing. I can't be I can't describe it. It's just a nice and calming sound. So, yeah, this is the Catapult C4 and I call this Syntec. Don't ask me why. It's I I've even forgotten why I named it that. But I call it Syntec. It just makes a sense to me for some reason. And anyways, um, I, I actually fought tooth and nail not to get a catapult. But then a couple of my friends told me, they said, dude, you're, you're missing out. You really need to get a catapult. And try the LRMs. And I've done since. I've done videos about how come the Intersphere uh, LRM boats are better in some ways than the Clan Mech ones. Especially when it comes to the uh, firing arc. They go way up in the air and then they come almost at a 90 degree da angle da back down. It's amazing how well they work. <sighs> Especially when you've got a good lock. So I'm running four LRM 10s with Artemis. And the Artemis really makes a huge difference on the Inner Spear Max. I think it's, on the Clan Max, I think it's a minor difference. It's not that big a deal. Because the Clan Mech LRMs aren't just, uh, they're just different. But on the, uh, I've found on the Inner Sphere Mechs, the Artemis is amazing. Huge difference between the standard LRM-10 or whatever. Uh, so normally, I would normally go with four um, LRM-10s normal. And then these way, just a, one ton more per uh, unit. And I would have gone with... Uh, um, the uh, medium X pulse lasers to go with that um, with doing it that way but these work really really well and uh, these don't work incredibly well but they they do uh, damage and I did have a kill on a blood asp one time um, was it a blood asp yeah but it wasn't a rancor in any way so this is the way I'm running this uh, four LRM tens with Artemis I'm running uh, five and a half tons or six tons of ammo with the case protection on here and um, I tried going back and forth doing the uh, the structure and it honestly it was it for what I needed it didn't make much of a difference um, if you go here like this it goes into the red and then you go to light and it's it's still maxed out already and it hasn't really even done very much for you so I just left it the way it is. And this way I get full fibrous, ferrofibrous. If it's doing anything at all, I'm not, I don't, I'm not even sure if it is. And then I'm running a, a light engine here and this is a light 240. And this does really, really well. It's got 1.24 heat management, firepower is 42, but the cyclic rate of these uh, 
uh, weapons is really nice. It's like every three seconds they fire, which is really great. And uh, speed of the mech is incredible. It's 58.6. Um, is that right? 59.8. It's still really slow. But the, what you really get out of this mech is the uh, energy cooldown, minus 20% missile heat generation, minus 10% range, plus 10%. Missile cooldown, minus 20%. Uh, missile velocity, plus 10%. And laser duration, minus 10%. And, of course, you're getting, you know, left arm and right arm. You're getting plus 15 on the armor. And then when you go to structure, um, right arm and left arm, you're getting 7. And you're also getting sensor range boost plus 100%. So this makes this a really fun mech to drive. And um, I hope you get a chance to, to uh, take one of these for a test spin. You won't regret it. Once you get this thing fully scaled out, it's really a blast to drive.